Calidas, we want to thank you all for being here. Um, I'm delighted uh, to be the mayor that has a chance to do this. What most of you won't know, uh, and there's no reason why you should, is I grew up in the neighborhood uh, right around the corner from Gallaudet. And I remember Gallaudet from back in the day. I remember going and watching some of the football practices. And I haven't been to any of the games, and I apologize for that, but I remember that it was one of the most unique ways of snapping the ball, that a drum was used uh, and that the quarterback would basically say, um, you know, a signal or a sign that it was on three or four, and it would be the drum beats that uh, people would use uh, as a way of uh, snapping the ball. And I don't know if that's still done, but it was one of the most innovative things. Uh, you know, maybe you all have a different way of doing it uh, now. But it was one of the most innovative uh, things I had seen uh, at the time. I want to thank uh, Derek for the uh, little, uh, you know, lesson about uh, when the huddle uh, was created, I think that was 1894, and he was there uh, at the time. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, this is really an honor uh, for me be, to be able to do this. We have lots of universities in this city. We have uh, Howard, we have my alma mater, George Washington, which no longer even has a football team. Uh, we have American, which doesn't have a football team. Uh, we have Catholic, which has had at times a good football team. I think they, I don't know if they're division, I don't know if they're not, division three, division two, whatever the case may be. Um, Georgetown, which has a football team. But I think none in the District of Columbia had a record that matched Gallaudet uh, this past year. Uh, to start with 9 0, we were all, even though I wasn't at any of the games, we were all rooting for you guys to be able to go undefeated. And, uh, you know, having lost only one game, and I think you lost a game in the playoffs, uh, we, we, were, uh, we were with you. And I think there were a lot of people around the city who were with you all uh, to be able to achieve uh, what you did. It's nice to see, too, that uh, ESPN uh, did what they did uh, with the uh, video. And I want to thank uh, Coach Goldstein uh, for um, having led the way. Um, the football program has been around, what, for 100, I don't know, 116 years, is that right? And um, has never, I won't say never, but for most of the years, has not been a winner. Um, it is a winner now, and has put Gallaudet on the map, uh, not just as a, a good football team, but as a university that really uh, overcomes odds, uh, overcomes uh, difficulties that would perhaps bring down, you know, some other folks uh, who... Um, wouldn't get it done. So I want to thank you all for coming down. I want to, uh, who, who are the captains of the team? Are they here? Okay. I'm going to ask the coach and the captains if they would come up, and I want to present this proclamation to you. And by the way, if you're wondering where I grew up, I grew up at uh, 6th and L, uh, Northeast. Uh, I lived my whole life there. In fact, until um, about a year ago, that apartment, uh, which a one-bedroom apartment right on the corner of the alley is, uh, on 6th Street, uh, was still in our family. Uh, my brother passed away, uh, so we gave up the apartment, and uh, it's now being renovated. I'm not sure what they're doing uh, to it, but I have a feeling that um, I won't be able to afford it, nor will my parents be able to uh, afford it uh, when it's finished. So, Coach, I want to congratulate you for um, doing this. Do you, do you all still, do you get, I know, I, I've actually, believe it or not, I follow sports pretty closely. I was an athlete, and um, I follow uh, the model school. Uh, do you all get players from the model school coming to the Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm sure that that helps also in preparing uh, to get the 54 players uh, that you have uh, on the team. So, anyway, uh, I want to present this proclamation uh, to you that, uh, and I'm going to take the opportunity, if you don't mind, I usually don't read all of this stuff, but I think I'm going to read it, uh, because I think it's just an incredible, incredible accomplishment. Whereas Gallaudet University is the world's only a university with programs specifically designed to accommodate deaf um, uh, and hearing impaired students and hard of hearing uh, students. 
Uh, and whereas uh, this esteemed university located in Ward 5 of the District of Columbia was established in 1864 by an act of Congress uh, with a charter uh, signed by Abraham Lincoln. And Abraham Lincoln did a lot of stuff, didn't he? I, I didn't know he signed this. Uh, hope he was involved. Uh, and whereas Gallaudet's football team, uh, inventor of the football huddle, uh, was led in 2013 by head coach Chuck Goldstein with a roster of only 54 student athletes and celebrated its best season in the school's 149-year history, going 9-2 overall and making it to the first round of the NC2, uh, NC2A Division III <coughs> tournament. And whereas the District of Columbia is proud to acknowledge the Gallaudet football program's success on the football field in 2013, raising uh, the profiles of the school uh, of uh, athletes who are deaf and, uh, and uh, hard of hearing and uh, of the District of Columbia. Now, therefore, I, the mayor of the District of Columbia, do hereby proclaim March 4, 2014, that will be today, as Gallaudet University Football Day in Washington, D.C. Thank <laughs> you.